Okay, back out in the garage tonight, and uh, today I got a really nice delivery. Uh, I've been waiting for this thing, and it finally came. It's my aluminum radiator, and there it is, Champion Cooling System. And here's the radiator right here. It's a tiny little thing, but uh, it's designed to fit this Mercury Comet. Um, it really looks like a radiator for a six cylinder, uh, but it clearly said in the uh, description that this was f made for V8 conversion. So I'm not, I'm not sure. It looks like it's, the measurements look like they're going to fit in here. And I've measured, uh, I think this is one and a half. This is one and three quarters. So I've got some, uh, hoses coming from Rock Auto. Uh, let's see how this radiator does fit. And, uh, I quite like the look of it. Of course, when you order stuff online, you never really know what you're going to get. And I did pay extra for the cap, which I wasn't too happy about. But then this came. It kind of looks, I don't know, in a corny kind of way. Kind of looks good. Champion cooling. Um, it's got the, uh, Looks like I've got the built-in transmission cooler, but I've got an external one that I was going to mount, so not really sure what I'm going to do there. So yeah, not a bad looking unit. Was not overly expensive. Uh, let's see how this fits in the car. Hopefully it does. Okay, well there's the radiator. Looks good. Uh, I'm not exactly sure on the height. Um, I tried the lower I tried to lower it to that top notch. Uh, it wasn't quite fitting on one side, so I raised it up to the second one. I did have to drill a bottom hole there. I'm not sure why. Maybe just aftermarket stuff anyway. Looks pretty good. Hopefully it's not too high. Uh, let's get some hoses on. Let's get this engine running. Uh, let's see if we have a head problem. Hopefully we don't. So we're going to continue a little bit here with our radiator and our plumbing. I got this uh, this nice little thermostat housing, chrome finish. So I'm going to mount this in here. Uh, it came with its own bolts and everything. Uh, this is the type that has an O-ring. So I'll put a little bit, a little bit of lube on here and I'll bolt this up. And then uh, we'll try our hoses. And if we can get this sorted out, then... Uh, so that's a water passage. I'm just thinking out loud here because I wanted uh, I wanted one of these that had the port so I could plumb in my my uh, coolant temperature probe. But uh, I guess for the Fords, they don't make it that way. So he told me at the parts place, or sorry, at the engine rebuilders, that I should just plumb that into any one of these ports. And I guess I can. There's one here. And there's probably a couple more. I gotta, I gotta figure this out. My probe, my temperature probe is over here. There it is there. So I think that could just be put in this vicinity. So I think that'll work. Um, let's get this on, see what it looks like. Okay, well here's our housing installed. Looks good. Uh, thermostat's in there. Spring pointing in. Um, Let's see about getting these generic hoses on. They look awful long, but uh, they weren't very expensive. So let's get these hoses on. Let's try to figure out this little jumper. And of course, I do have two connections for the for the uh, heater core, but I don't think I want to even bother hooking that up. So I just got to figure out how to bypass this. We'll get our upper and our lower. And uh, let's put some cooling on here or in here. And see how this engine runs with coolant. And hopefully there's no bubbling or any craziness. And none of the coolant gets into the oil. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so I'm finally back out on the Mercury. Uh, it's been some time here. Uh, I had ordered uh, these hoses, like I mentioned. And of course the first set that came were completely wrong. 
So I've reordered a second set, and it looks like my my upper looks like a looks like a fit. Uh, this is just one of these, um, you know, generic ones, but that looks okay. Now for the bottom one, in order to get the, uh, the one and three quarter, I ended up ordering one of these. And it really looks like it's the right shape, but it's obviously way, way too long. So I'm going to nibble away at this, uh, see if I can make this one fit. I have also uh, the little jumper hose. Uh, that goes between here. You can't see that, can you? I have a little jumper hose on order. It'll go between here and there. And then uh, this one here, I'll plumb somewhere into the back into the intake or into the manifold. Because I'm not going to bother hooking up the uh, heater core right now. I think I've mentioned that. Um, I want to get some coolant in here. And I want to run this engine so I can, so once and for all, I can know if uh, this engine is good or bad. Because as you remember, I've ran this engine just briefly without any coolant, and I had a lot of puffs of exhaust coming out uh, my housing. So, not sure if this is a good engine yet. I'm kind of hoping for the best here. So, I want to get this uh, plumbing in, I want to get this hooked up, and I want to run this engine with coolant. Uh, to see what we have. Okay, so I'm going to continue a little bit here with my uh, cooling system. This is the next day. Uh, you saw me install these uh, hoses. Um, those look okay. So I thought maybe I would uh, top up my radiator. I want to get some fluid in here, obviously. And I'm trying to determine also on uh, on my intake manifold, there's various plugs on here. And I'm trying to determine which ones are air and which ones are water. I'm not going to lie. I'm not sure. So I've got one plug out here. Uh, like I said, I do want to install my temperature probe in one of them. Uh, I will have my little rubber elbow is on here now, but there still leaves an open spigot on the water pump, which will have to be recirculated in here somewhere. Uh, so for now, uh, I bought this antifreeze and I bought this... Uh, this block sealer amazing product uh, just in case I did have a head issue or a crack or something I mean it it can't hurt at this point I have really nothing to lose so I'm just gonna pour this in oh, she's thick boy look at that get in there get in there maybe it's too cold There we go. We'll fill this full of goop. And uh, this is all stuff that can circulate around with the coolant. And uh, like I said, 1972, uh, you know, bits and pieces, odds and ends. Uh, okay. I'm going to finish uh, squeezing this in. I'm going to get the antifreeze in here. Alrighty, let's try the antifreeze. And uh, this is straight stuff. I will mix it with water. Uh, this stuff was on sale. Pure white paper water. Uh, get a jug of that in there. And uh, see how this goes. Okay, you get the idea. Okay, so <clears throat> continuing with my cooling system. This is the old elbow that was on there. Uh, pretty crusty. Uh, I waited a long time. I don't know, for whatever reason, the one from Rock Auto just came today. And honest to God, Rock Auto is usually a couple days. I waited for this for almost two weeks. I'm not sure why. I just trimmed it to fit. I'm going to try to install this. And I also bought various fittings here. This is not to do with the cooling system, but this is to do with the uh, the radiator and the transmission cooler. My radiator, as you know, has a built-in uh, transmission cooler, so I bought a few fittings. I'll try to install this, and uh, I also made this horrific 
makeshift adapter uh, and that's for that water temperature probe uh, the size of the temperature probe obviously fits in here this came with the kit I could find nowhere in my block where this would go in so I had to create this monstrosity anyway that'll be hidden somewhere uh, you know on on the uh, on the intake manifold so anyway if I get this on I'll get the uh, temperature uh, sensor hooked up I already got the radiator hoses on I'll get my jumper hose on and I'm still waiting for hoses for the heater core but I think I can just uh, use an old piece of hose and just crimp that off for now uh, I don't want to use the heater core anyway but I was just going to make the uh, the line recirculate but I think I can bypass that for now what I want to do is I want to get uh, I want to get this all in I want to get that engine fired up and just to see uh, if the head gaskets are good or if there's any leaks so far I do have coolant in the engine uh, and it's been sitting for probably about a week now because everything has taken so long I've never seen me waiting so long for various parts and bits but so far the oil of course the engine is not run but the water is sitting in there and so far uh, the oil looks clean and clear so this is my pro I've showed you this before uh, this will thread in here but it'll thread in here but then this is loose because you need the other sleeve to go on the outside and the only way to adapt the sleeve on the outside is to put the reducer bushing and another pipe nipple so I don't know there's probably a better way but this should work uh, let's get that new jumper on. Let's get on with this. Okay, well, got all my uh, coolant hoses on. I'm not sure what I babbled about just a minute ago here. I've been doing a lot of filming. I've been waiting for parts. Uh, things have really been on hold here, but I just put some uh, gas down the carburetor. I got my hoses all hooked up. I got my temperature probe hooked up. All my various plugs that I had removed are back in. I got the battery charging, um, the piece or the the piece of pipe that goes to the heater core. I just got this capped off with a wheel nut, so the coolant should be contained. I still got the old style valve covers and they're loose, so that's not ideal. Um, let's. I got the fittings in. You can see them down there, both going sideways. That's for the transmission cooler. I still haven't, all I gotta do now is slice this and slip it on, but uh, I wanna get this engine running. So, let's see how this goes. Okay, let's see if we can get this started.
So let's just assume that the coolant's circulating. I'm gonna give it a minute. And I'm gonna check that oil. Okay. Oh, I'm hearing, I'm hearing gurglies. What's going on? What am I hearing? Okay, that could just be this little hose clamp here on the jumper. Huh, okay, so she ran. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it right here. Yeah, all right, let me just snug this up. Hopefully that's our only issue. Well, wishful thinking, eh? So, why did it just pop like that? I don't know. I'm not going to worry about that too much because she did idle for quite a while. We saw oil pressure. Uh, now again, this is the uh, this is the setup where somebody put a more modern set of pulleys uh, with a serpentine type belt but it is rooted in the old-fashioned way so it's not really proper but I think it works and I think my pump is spinning the right way right now it's spinning the old-school way uh, a little bit of oil burning off there but she did start good and she did run good now the timing is probably not perfectly set um, I was glad to see that oil pressure. I would like it to run a little bit longer so I could see the water temp come up. So let, let me snug up that little hose. I'm going to run this up again. Okay, well I've just ran the car some more and I topped the radiator up one more time. Looks like this little weep has stopped here. Um, now I want to run it longer. So what I'm going to do Now this oil it looks oily and clear. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any water in here right now. It really does not look like there's any water in here. So um, I'm going to, because my alternator is not charging anything because it's not hooked up, uh, I'm going to top this battery back up. I'm going to come back out later. I'm going to run this again. And this time I really want to let, eh, it is warm, but I really want, I want to bring it up to temp so that the, uh, my probe is reading on the gauge and I can get uh, a reading, you know, a proper jacket water reading. Cause I mean, the radiator here is not, yeah, I want to get this warmer. I want to make sure, I want to get this warmer. I want to make sure I got circulation, uh, cause I think I got my pump going the right way. I think I got the old school set up. But I'm not 100% sure. So, uh, I'm going to come back later. I'm going to run this up again until I get this block warm and this radiator warm. And the true test will be the next day. If that oil is clear, if that oil is clear, then we should be in the clear. So, we'll be one step closer to driving our old turd here. Okay, I'll check again a little bit later. Okay, so you can probably hear that. I'm running the Comet. It's in the garage with the door semi-shut. It's loud as hell. Uh, neighbors are going to kill me, but oh well. I need to get this engine running. Uh, I have to work with my timeline and between my work and my other duties. Uh, not ideal. I want to get this engine up to temperature. Yeah, 
as you can see, it's smoky as heck in here. Uh, I ran this engine on idle for 15 minutes. Um, I couldn't stand the noise anymore, and the smoke was starting to billow out of the garage. So, before some nosy neighbor has a conniption fit, I turn the car off. Uh, my temperature gauge uh, is coming back down a little bit now, but that was starting to register. So that's a good sign. And t -t 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 -t. now there's a little bit of smoke because the valve covers, like I mentioned, they're not tight. That's just the old one. So a little bit of oil is leaking on the manifold. So not ideal, but I got no coolant leaks. And... Uh, the radiator is still not really warm, but, you know, the stuff is, should be still be circulating in the block. The block is kind of warm. So, um, and more importantly, I think I'm good here. More importantly, after 15 minutes of running, uh, let's face it, this oil is crystal clear. So there's no water in the oil. So I'm going to call this good. You know, I'm maybe 80 to 90 percent uh, confident now. So this engine, I mean, it started at the drop of a hat. It idled for 15 minutes, no problem. Uh, I'd say I got a good engine. Uh, so now, let's get the doors on. I, got, I started, I got this one lined up. Let's get the doors on. Uh, maybe try to, maybe try to take this on a maiden voyage. I mean, we wouldn't very go very far. Maybe just out in the parking here, forward and back. Maybe not far at all. Just to say she could spin under her own power, if she could. Uh, so I'm gonna leave this door open. I'm gonna let this uh, this nice smoke in here. Oh, should kill the should kill the mice anyway. Or chase them off. Uh, thanks for watching everyone. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video. There's more to come on this uh, 62 Comet. Uh, be something to uh, drive this this summer. Might be wishful thinking, but let's see uh, how far we get. Whew. All right.